So again, after me, Lewis. Clois, I promise to be your husband. <laughs> Clois. <laughs> 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 yeah. <laughs> word for word, what you said. <laughs> Sorry. 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 Chloe was born on 3rd of September and was 1993. I'm as proud now of the woman she has become, as I was when she was born. We've always got on great together, apart from for about two years' spell, when she wore her Rockies, uh, a rock fork and trackies. I think this must be a whole thing, Carly. <laughs> I should have known that the writing was on the wall from an early stage, as Lewis, as a two-year-old, had an obsession with sleeping in mine and his mum's bed. <laughs> I even went to the extent of building him a Thomas the Tank engine bed. Aww. I'm so proud of the impact you have on so many people's lives, not just in your role as a nurse, but also a friend and relative. The first time I met Lewis was in his dad's shop when he was about 14 and he was bidding up on it, his friends, eBay, to get more money. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know then that this young lad would one day marry my daughter and I could not wish for a better son-in-law and I would like to officially welcome you into the family. Whilst recovering from a broken collarbone, Lewis decided to go watching some friends at a motocross meeting. Whilst there, with his clipped wing, little did he know that he was about to meet the love of his life. Described as the fit one with red hair. <laughs> at the age of 21, Lewis was crowned British Enduro Champion, 2011. They finally moved in together as a couple at their home in Fox Lane, Leyland. Thankfully, I didn't need to be in a bed at the side of him. Lewis and Chloe were settling down nicely in their new home and decided to upgrade as their careers were progressing nicely. Then, they jetted off to New York at the end of August last year. Lewis had made his mind up that he felt the next step forward was marriage. <laughs> Went off to New York, absolutely cacking myself on this plane, walking through Central Park, and I'm walking like, oh, this isn't a good time, there's a few people knocking about here. <laughs> so I get to the end of this path, she's, she's telling, she didn't want to go for a walk at fish because we had to go to his meal. I just turned, got on one knee and said, will you marry me? And then she went, she went and I went, Yeah? She went, yeah! So, <laughs> so I just threw the ring on her finger. I was like, money on my knees, killing. And as I looked up, as I turned around, I don't know if anyone's been to New York, there's a little Columbus Circle. There was thousands of people. Like, so then they all start clapping, oh, bloody hell, fire. I lose John Belfield to take you, Chloe Elizabeth Hall, to be my wedded wife. I, Chloe Elizabeth Hall, take you, Lewis John Belfield, to be my wedded husband. Chloe, I promise to be your husband. In times of joy. In times of joy. And in times of trouble. And in times of trouble. To provide for. To provide for. And support you in friendship. And support you in friendship. Trust and love. Trust and love. I promise to work with you. I promise to work with you. To build our lives together. To build our lives together. May our love bring us closer. May our love bring us closer. To create a home. To create a home. Filled with peace, happiness and love. Filled with peace, happiness and love. I give you this ring. As a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And a token of my love for you. And a token of my love for you. Nice and gentle. Gently. 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 Is it on? I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage. As a symbol of our marriage. And a token of my love for you. And a token of my love for you. And with equal Moving on to my beautiful wife. 
Uh, you really do look amazing. The first time that me and Chloe met was actually on a freezing day at a Leisure Lakes motocross track, introduced by the one and only Tracy Jackson. <laughs> so our first real date was actually, I took it to the cinema and watched a horror movie, which at the time I thought was just a brilliant idea. I thought, yeah, I told Matt Chow, she'll be crying and I'm like, yeah, it's all right. But no, she actually watched the full movie behind the cult, but thankfully she was still keen for a second date. <laughs> But just generally, Chloe's been really supportive of me, whether it be travelling around Europe, racing motorbikes, or playing for my local team, thinking I'm Cristiano Ronaldo. Uh, I must say a big thank you to Chloe, or as she's more formally known now as my wife, uh, or, or as a good friend of mine, Bora, I would say, my wife. <laughs> <laughs> but I am really proud of you for all the hard work you do uh, to give us the best life possible. And I can't wait to spend the rest of my life with you. Uh, so I'd just like to raise a toast, final one, to my new wife, Chloe. I wish the muse of happiness together. Ladies and gentlemen, can you please raise your glasses and join me to Mr. and Mrs. Belfield. Yeah. Yeah. To Chloe and Lewis, the bride and groom.
Can any of Lewis's exes, right, girlfriends, old flames, anybody that's got a spare key for Lewis's, can you please come forward and hand them in? Pigs on board. Thank you.